Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wyatt, aka Anakin Vader, here bringing you yet another toy review. And today, we're taking a look at the Transformers Prime Deluxe Class RC. This figure comes to us from the mainline uh, Robots in Disguise, so it is not first edition. But um, for anyone who missed out on first edition, here is your chance to get a Transformers Prime RC figure. Yeah. She's a motorcycle, she's a blue motorcycle, and she's a lot different from the first edition, but I don't have the first edition version near to compare them, though I may do a first edition and mainline comparison, but if not, many people on the TFW 2005 boards have done them, and they're, they're all over the place if I do not do one. But here is her uh, motorcycle mode with these stupid weapons. These weapons suck in, in vehicle mode. They're not that bad in robot mode. But in vehicle mode, there's no storage, which I don't expect out of a motorcycle. But uh, this is not weapon storage. You can kind of get, I guess you can get some sort of super blade gun sword deal out of this. Um, by pegging that onto there. She has two pegs, one inside to simulate her arm is the gun. And one to just hold the gun. These look, or uh, at least uh, this gun looks good with Robots in Disguise Optimus Prime. So if you don't know what to do with this weapon when you get this figure, give it to Robots in Disguise Optimus Prime. It looks really good. And this thing, just I guess you can keep with her. But the figure, the figure itself, she has some, oh, that's hot glue. Sorry. <laughs> Working on a, a physics project earlier. And I have, like, dust and stuff all over my, my desk, and I haven't been able to clean it off yet. But, um, the figure has really, really good, uh, motorcycle mode, and to its dismay, the good motorcycle mode affects the robot mode. There's not much I can say about this. You can roll if you put enough force on the right side and keep the kickstand there, but then it... Motorcycle. Here she is with mainline Bumblebee, and yeah, she's not in scale, but I don't, I don't mind that. I've never expected it out of a Transformer motorcycle toy, so I don't mind it that much. And for some reason, she has this molded blue plastic, which looks good, but up here on this thing, it's painted metallic. And you could say because this is translucent, but this feels like a separate piece from the visor. And, well, I guess that's the same piece, maybe, but it looks like a separate piece. This looks like this was put in here, but this is molded translucent still. So, that's that's odd. And the, motor, the, the handlebars are there, and not many paint apps. But, hey, it's Hasbro, so there's not much you can really do about it. And I'm not surprised. Though it is a cool touch that the inside of here are uh, silver, but she, has, she doesn't really have her silvery uh, faded pink paint applications. To transform her... She's kind of a shell former, um, unfortunately. She kind of fold these things out, these side panels, and these are her wings. Um, take a. Oh, these shadows are annoying. Take um, these, or her legs, which will become her legs. Just hinge them down and pull them out like that. Take these and separate them. And they separate at the wheel, not just in half, but at the wheel. And this is scary, this part here, um, because this is starting to get a stress mark you can see in there. So to kind of apply the right force in the right spots to try and prevent uh, stress, stress marks, stress marks, stretchage, whatever. Same thing over here, apply, not, not too much, but not uh, enough to stress the plastic. This one hasn't really gained a stress mark, but this one, uh, this one has right there. And there are her uh, her legs. Fold down the kickstand. Up top, you're gonna wanna come under here or up here. Take her. Whoa, get out of the way. Take her arms and just pull them out from the side. And hinge her uh, shoulders. Take this whole piece up here. This works on a hinge like this. So on a multiple hinge. Swing that down like that and push it down. I mean, you push this down to the back, your head will come up uh, just a little bit, as, as opposed to being all the way down here. But to get to come up all the way to use her revealer gimmick, is push her lower section, her 
her crotch down to tab it in. So when you do that, you can see her, uh, her head comes up and even the rest of this will go down if it's not already down. And you snap it, and it will all stay in place. You fold her wings back, stand her up, and there you have RC in her robot mode. And this figure is really nice. I like how the blue looks. It's not mainly uh, show accurate, but I still like how it looks. She has a really neat uh, face sculpt, though if you look at it from the right, like right there, it looks like she has duck face, like a girl on Facebook. So, But they actually decided to put the uh, red on her forehead crest, but that's about it. Shoulders don't have the wings off them like the first edition, but damn. She has wings. But all around, her sculpt is nicer, her chest is more show accurate, her abdomen is skinny, and her legs have pretty much the right proportion, as much as I can tell, or as far as I can tell. her, She has open hands, and I like how the arms, I really enjoy these arms more than the first edition, and the inner body, or the uh, upper body. Though where the problem comes is the backpack. This backpack is awful! I don't care if anyone tells you, I don't care if they say they can stand it, it's still horrible. Ah, oh, it's awful. I can't stand it. But, you know, I still think it's a decent enough figure to warrant it, but, man, this is where it comes from a shelf warmer, because most of the components that make her a motorcycle are, you could cut all this down the middle, and you'll have, for the most part, a motorcycle, just with one wheel, and a robot mode. It kind of goes for the same with Universe Silverbolt. It kind of falls into that, to where you can literally cut off the, the vehicle mode. Which is upsetting for a robot who is as stealthy and aesthetically slick as she is. I haven't found a way that where you could pop this off and pop it back on, but I, I hope someone comes up with that that doesn't destroy the figure or destroy its transformation gimmick. But I've kind of come to accept that, kind of pretend that maybe she gets some sort of jetpack. I mean, she won't in the show, to our knowledge at least, but just on the shelf or, you know, playability wise, just. I can only uh, make myself feel better, I guess. Whatever, whatever gets me to sleep at night. But uh, her weapons, she can, her arm blade can peg in to her arm. And she can hold the gun from this handle or the handle I like. And if you're going with the jetpack deal, then you kind of pretend that she flies on up and just pew 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 down below. So. Once again, whatever gets you to sleep at night. Her articulation is pretty nice. Her head's on a ball joint and a hinge, so it rotates up and down, all like that. Shoulders rotate 360 degrees. Um, ball joint, shoulder, and her hands rotate on a ball joint. No waist, but legs are on a ball joint, go in and out. Rotate the upper thigh, bend at the knee pretty well, but no uh, real foot pivot for besides that. So you can get some okay poses out of her, just you have these gigantic wings from the back. But she's not an awful figure, she just has a little bit of a flaw. But she's not bad, and her face is extremely overexposed. But yeah, she's not a bad figure at all, I, I kind of like her actually a bit, so I, I can't fully recommend her, as I can't ratchet. it. But I can't say that she's an awful figure. If you need an RC on your shelf and you cannot afford the first edition, do not feel bad about buying this one, at least in my own personal opinion. Um, this one is not that awful. I kind of enjoy it. So I'm not, I'm not upset with having both versions. So if you think you like it, you might. You probably will, actually. Um, so if you have any questions about this figure, please leave them down below in the comment section. Please like or dislike, depending on if you did or not. Check out uh, Primecast every weekend with me and SJ Autobot on his YouTube channel. And I'll check you guys next time. Later. Thanks for watching.